black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what's truly, really, authentically, genuinely, really good with y'all? <laughs> it's uh, early morning in the Canadian tundra, as you can see out this window over here. Uh, lots of snow and things. I don't know where to look. I need to be looking over here, don't I? Okay, there's the lens. Yeah, I'm in the whippersnapper. I got access to the whip. It's exciting because I get to go do things now, actually. So I kind of want to start my day maybe with a, even though I feel pretty energetic already, but I might go get a diet sugar-free Red Bull or whatever you want to call them. And then I want to go to like a local spot and grab a few uh, like desserty breakfast desserty delights and show y'all them on this camera here. So let's do that. Uh, different video. I like it. It feels fresh. It feels nice. It feels vibrant. It feels in the air, the spirit realm. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Let's drive. Okay, sugar-free Red Bull procured. Also, I've already stopped at one place. It's called the Persian Man. He is not Persian at all. He is a man. And I will explain why that is. We're en route to the next spot, which is like the OG classic. And we're gonna get some other things. And then we're gonna just eat them together, look at them, inspect them, talk, have some chats, okay? So I'll see you at the next spot. Home of fine pastry and bread, and it is fine. Okay, I'm back and I have fully procured all of the local dessert pastry favorites. These are my childhood all in one unit. These are probably the most like iconic ones in this city town. I think they're completely unique to here. Uh, this place that I just went to, Holland Bakery, has been open for 60 years. Uh, Persians have been hitting the shelves for, I gotta say, at least probably 40 years, if not more. And uh, I will show you them. So the first up I will show you is the Persian. This is 100% completely a Thunder Bay thing. This is my childhood in a nutshell. So, off rip, here it is. Pink icing, almost like a cinnamon bunny-ish bottom. And so this is the OG. This is strawberry flavor. The icing is strawberry. It's halfway cross between a donut and a cinnamon bun, the actual dough. And then the icing is just, it's your standard, pretty much standard icing. So. We try, we have a little bite, and we throw me way back to grade, well, probably six, seven, and eight was really when it was my time to shine with the Persians. Now, so good, <laughs> so good. You guys know I'm not even really into sweets like that, but I love these. You can see inside, see how it has that like cinnamon-esque shit going on and it kind of curls in into itself like a cinnamon bun legit very soft like just pull a party mm -hmm. icing's beautiful nice and sweet here's the eye of the beholder that middle piece that middle eye bite Okay, so that's what that was. They sell these. Remember back in elementary school, you used to have like pizza day days where you buy something for like a dollar. We used to have Persian days. And on Persian days at lunch, you go down, there's a table of Persians. You have your dollar, you hop in line, you get your Persian. Now, as time moved forward, of course, people were like, okay, we get that there's a strawberry Persian, but like, let's elevate, let's innovate, let's take it to new places. So what they did was, there's a course that came along with a chocolate. Now a, pur a Persian purist might say, ah, nah, 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 I do not want to partake in any other icing flavors. You know, I had my reserve, my reserved doubts when they first came out too. And uh, I've had them. They're good. It's been a while. It's been probably about 15 years since I've had one of these. So let's have one now. Mm-hmm. It's good. 
once again, the dough is amazing. The chocolate is subtle. You know what it is? Imagine the taste of a fudgesicle or like a chocolate popsicle melted down into an icing. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's like a subtle, subtle chocolate. Very good. Now, to combat with the strawberry on, on the fruit tip, they came through with a blueberry one too. When they first came out with this one, this is one that I was more I could get on board with. The blueberry chocolate, like the chocolate was meh. The blueberry, it kind of showed me a new universe, you know? And you'll see here the blueberry actually has chunks of blueberry in it at times. Big bites. Mm hmm. The blueberry competes with the strawberry. I must say, two fire. Okay, so that's the Persian man. But the Persian man also has this other thing that I got called a Sally Ann, and I don't know if it's unique to here. I think it might be. But before that, I told y'all. I was going to get a sugar free Red Bull to really kick it up a year in this video. You know what I mean? So first sip face for all the haters out there, mostly for the lovers. Cause y'all love it. Let's get it ready. Or I could quadrant it and say, let your appetite, which by the way, I feel fully like Quantran right now because he does these car eating videos and I've never had the privilege to actually do one. Feels good. Feels great. Okay. This ladies and gents called Sally Ann. If you look at the bottom, it's like a white cake. Once again, we have a chocolate frosting icing. I'll be intrigued to know if it tastes like the one on the Persian. Smells exactly the same off rip. It's like a two hockey pucks stacked on one. Very, uh, very Thunder Bay. Okay. Very simple. A white cake, chocolate icing. I thought they were different because last time I had one of these probably like once again, 15, 20 years. Like I told you guys, I don't really eat desserts like that. That is thick with three C's as well, that icing. For real, for real. While we're on the topic of, of Quantran, mildly disappointed in him. I've reached out to him by email a few times now. Because back in the day he said, he would do a challenge with me or like a cooking, like a cook off or some shit. I've commented on a bunch of videos and I've emailed him. I don't know. Maybe his life is just too tumultuous right now. Too much turmoil. I don't know. Maybe he's just busy or maybe I did something wrong to him along the way. I don't know. Probably like I always give him praise though. So I don't know. I was trying to get the, get the cook off going. And uh, he's, he's MIA, he's not responding. So, okay. Next up, Holland Bakery, the place that I showed you from the outside there real quick. These guys, these are the holy grail of donuts. Now I'm in a cold-ish car, so I don't know if they've been compromised. But when you say Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme ain't got shit on these. These are legitimate, you guys. Like, way too legitimate. Okay, look at this. These are the most beautiful. They're made fresh every day. When they sell out, they sell out. 
I guess donuts are always pretty much made fresh every day, but just that, I think that glaze, wash the squish on these. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that? These things. These, oh, these are just, okay. These just deserve the respect, the money, power, and the respect. This is the best donut I've ever had in my life. I couldn't imagine it just being like, ever so lightly warm. Y'all know, like I said, I don't really mess with dessert like that, but these are so good that I need to have another one. Oh. It's too much. It's too good. This is a Megan McCollum dream. I feel like Megan McCollum right now. I am another person. I'm mildly disappointed in Megan. I'm not here for it. I know she used to watch me, because she gave me, she mentioned me way back in the day. Now she's out in LA. I'm trying to plan an LA trip to meet up with a bunch of people that do this shit. And some subscribers and stuff to shoot videos. And I wanted to have it happen in the next few months. I'm f and I'm serious about it. And I reached out to her a few times via her Instagram DMs, commenting on her pictures, telling her to check her DMs and whatnot on her videos. She ain't giving me the time of day. I'm trying to have a, a cheat day for YouTube with Megan. Maybe she's too cool for school. I don't know. Please go spam her wall. Okay. Last thing, next up, these right here, also Holland Bakery. They're called a cinnamon twist, okay? These, ladies and gents, also, these are these represent Christmas morning for me. Family tradition to have them on Christmas morning. I'm getting shit everywhere in this car right now. Look at this. Crispy, sugary, Cakey on sugar bottom. Cinnamon sugar sprinkle on top. Pretty evident why they call them a twist because they're all twisted up like LA Crip Gang fingers. Very blood-esque type dessert. So what am I talking about? <laughs> that said though, there's a few ways you can go about one of these. And this actually straight up isn't the ideal way. I know they look thin as shit, but if you get your chef knife skills game up, what you do is, I'll grab a full one just so you can see. You grab one, you finesse, and you saw a hoe in half, like a magician does his stage girlfriend you saw that hoe in half you butter her up and you toast her you'll, ha you'll have no better adventure in your mouth than that in terms of a dessert ask thing it gets crispy crusty gooey butter salty cinnamony sugary it's out of control. Maybe I'll have to show you one because I got a bag of them. I'll show you one at home. I will. Now, some people get kind of crazy and want to claim that they're going to throw a cheese slice on that hoe. I'm not too sure. Not really 
for me, but they're so good. So, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, I would say those are like the quintessential must haves, like almost like war era bakery delights in my city or where I was born at. Oh, legit, they're all, they're all very, very good. For me to eat that much sweets, it's like kind of tough. Just something about sweets. They don't sit in me very well. My mouth, my gut starts to feel funky. It just, they become overwhelming very quickly. So, on the next episode of this thing in my hometown, you guys know it was all about Coney Dogs. There's many Coney Dogs here. We're having a shootout. It's happening. Don't you worry, it's happening. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.